Violence is a very odd element when it comes to fantasy because art consists essentially of two motions that constantly add at odds with each other, which is sex and violence, desire, um, fear. You know, those are the two things that constantly fight. Let's just bear it sex and violence. And where sex is 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 harder to fantasize about because in the end it's an act that's very instinctual and normal for most people to do as much as possible <laughs> violence <laughs> on the other hand which is equally a part of our dna is pure fantasy because it's a part of our mentality that we know is wrong to do but we have it so we fantasize about it. Mm. So that's why violence in fiction, whether it's being literature or, or painting or, or music or cinema, whatever, is very much a dominating force. It's a way of externalizing emotions. And I used to say that violence is an, you know, art is an act of violence. It's meant to penetrate you. And it can do that, of course. And there's a big difference between seeing violence and being violated by what you experience. So um, where you can say that in reality, violence is a destructive medium. It only destroys. But in art, violence ins can inspire. And I'm not talking about you know, people killing each other in terms of entertainment, but the act that you see something that can violate you is what I find interesting. Mm. You know, it's a sense of penetration. It's the closest thing to the act with the viewer becoming a two-way experience. And if you look at our physicality, you know, we were born with violent behavior out of necessity. We have parts of our body can be used for violent acts out of self-preservation. Over the years of man evolutions, those self-preservation became our normality and acceptance that we find a way to, for society to function. So our violent urges no longer was a necessity to survive because society created our basic needs. But that doesn't mean the urge in our DNA went away. So suddenly all the parts of our body that were violent became our fantasies instead. And that's, it's more of an acceptance of that. And of course, the combination of eroticism and violence, going back to the male physique of a clenched fist, which is essentially a male extension of his sexuality, but also his violent act. 